Preparing to make history for civilians, none of them astronauts, here at one of America's most iconic landmarks. The same launch pad that has sent Apollo, Space Shuttle, and SpaceX crews into orbit will soon play host to these four civilian commercial astronauts who this week are seeing the launch tower up close for the first time. It's hard to walk up here like this in our flight suits and not imagine what it's going to be like when we're doing the exact same thing in our spacesuits. The inspiration for crew now complete. 38-year-old Commander Jared Isaacman, the billionaire with the dream, fly to space on a SpaceX rocket and raise a staggering $200 million for St. Jude Children's Hospital. 29-year-old Haley Arsenault, representing Hope, a childhood cancer survivor and now a physician's assistant at St. Jude. And this morning, two new crew members revealed. 41-year-old Chris Zembrowski, representing generosity, chosen from among those who've donated to St. Jude. An Air Force veteran now working in the aerospace industry. A friend was actually selected, but he can't go. And 51-year-old Dr. Siam Proctor, representing prosperity. A pilot and community college science professor, once a NASA astronaut candidate, now a passionate space advocate. So this is the crew. We have an amazing civilian crew that's going to become amazing commercial astronauts over the next six months. We met in the historic NASA firing room, now run by SpaceX. You are jumping out of your seat with excitement. I can see it right now. It's like opening up the chocolate bar and seeing the golden ticket to the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And that this is the, the example of that for space. In February, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk would not say how much Jared is paying for the multi-day trip around the Earth or where their flight plan might take them. I think it's, it's really up to Jared. I mean, it's his, it's his mission. He can go wherever he'd like. Really? It's up to him? He can go wherever he wants in yeah, orbit? Yeah, I mean, yeah, as long as it doesn't, yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Jared now says they'll be orbiting higher than the space station, 335 miles above the Earth. Haley, we are really high up, and you're about to go a heck of a lot higher. You're cool with that. Oh, yeah. No, no fear of heights, no problem with motion sickness. I think, I think all of us, we were really born to do this in a way. For Chris Zembrowski, a space camp counselor here 20 years ago, it's all a bit surreal. I've taken that experience with me to uh, really drive the passion uh, for, well, get kids to seek their passion in science and technology, uh, really spark their interest in, uh, in those fields by using space as that medium. And ever since, it's been stuck with me as well. Space is still risky, and you all know that. Is there any part of this that is also a little worrisome to you? I don't have any concerns about the flight or our safety at all. I was more worried that this opportunity had slipped me by and I would never get the chance to go to space. And But now here I am and that just shows you uh, never give up because uh, that moment for me is here. Not worried at all? No, not at all. I'm ready. Just uh, strap me in. Let's go. Back on the launch tower. Jared, this is, this is your vision, your dream, and now you're here. Does it make it that much more real? Yeah, this is a very real moment, but I mean, can't help but be like overwhelmed just thinking about all the history that came before us here. I mean, that's what's going through my mind, like the astronauts climbing into the Apollo missions and Skylab and then space shuttle. I mean, just so incredible to be here. Yeah, uh, just an amazing experience to be out there on the launch tower. They've got a lot of work to do because Jared says they could end up lifting off by the end of September. So that gives them six months to do all their training. Most of this mission will be controlled by the ground, but these four total civilians still need to be prepared. Guys, back to you. Wow, I mean, just to wrap your head around it, it's incredible. And I guess they're going to be doing some experiments in orbit as well. Yeah, they're not really being uh, specific, but they say that they're going to take blood samples. They're going to look at radiation levels because they are going to be at a higher orbit around the Earth and the space station. And then also some some seeds with some plants. But I think we'll learn more about that in the coming weeks and months. I mean, the best part of the story, Tom, continues mm -hmm. to be the fact that it's a fundraiser for, for St. Jude's. Any idea how much money they've raised so far for the hospital? Yeah, so a reminder, they want to raise $200 million. Jared is putting in the first $100 million his, on his own money. So they say that they've raised another $15 million now, but that does not count the corporate donations that still need to be tabulated and roll in. So they say they are a long way still from getting a good final count, and they got months to go. They'll get mm. there. They will get there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom. Tom that was Costello. awesome, Tom. Thank you, thank you. Yeah.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.